Hi Capricorn and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So this is going to be a read for the second half of February, you and who. The who could be a friend or family member or one side of a situation or another. It could also be a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, or even a person of interest, okay? This is a general read. If you'd like a personal read that taps into your own personal energies, go to theguidedintuitive.com up here or in my description box below, okay? So uh, if you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Michelle and uh, I'm going to be covering with you just the second half of February and see what's in store for you and what wants to come out. We'll be using lots of different cards. So let's jump into it. Uh, I do have a, a couple announcements. First announcement is that we do have a brand new class that is coming out. It is about activating your feminine empress energy. And it's so exciting. It's about that magical uh, energy within you that at times gets suppressed, uh, especially when we're working and, you know, we go to work and we take on those masculine qualities, uh, the get her done type attitude. And and so a lot of times it's we fail to uh, be able to step into that once again. And uh, we, this is really, a, really an exciting webinar with lots of surprises. And I'm very excited to uh, help you bring that genius that is already within you uh, and react activating that okay so if you're interested check out my description box below or up here all right and those of you that are looking to go very deep and want a partner in terms of the the finding the clarity as well as you know the accountability with someone and uh, have that inspiration and motivation to make this year your best year yet, you definitely want to check out a discovery session up here. It's a one-on-one -on -one session that allows us to get to know each other and make a recommendation as to the best program that would fit for you. So if you're looking for your life's purpose or you're looking to, uh, you know, to take your business to that next level, uh, then you do definitely need to check this out. Okay. So, um, we are done. Let's go ahead and move into the first card. And this card was going to be how you feel about them. How do you feel about them? Let's see what this is here. What wants to come out on how you feel about them? Here it is. How you feel about them? You feel strong when you're in their presence, okay? So this is the goddess of strength that's coming through. And this is about feeling very strong and and, and really feeling uh, uh, in this situation that if there's something that you may not agree with, that you're going to hold your ground, okay? And I know that kind of came in kind of from left field, but uh, that was something that just kind of came in that way and I had to say it. So, um, but this is about really standing up for what you believe believe in in this relationship or situation okay so don't back down you're going to be respected okay there's another sign that got this so you do want to check out your moon rising and venus signs as well all right but that's what's coming through here uh what else wants to come through here so this is a goddess of strength to owning your own power and uh you know actually you know using that okay and let's see what else wants to come through yeah, this is about, you know, uh, being strong in your perspective, right? So looking at the world through your perspective and then, of course, being strong and standing up for what that perspective is to you, okay? Um, and I'm just a firm believer that we uh, we allow others to treat us how, well, others will treat us how we allow them to treat us, okay? And so it really starts with us, right? It starts with you. Um, and so that's what's really coming into play. And so in the you know, in terms of your, uh, your, your beliefs and your values and that type of thing, I think that that was, you know, you have that within you and then you are, are taking, you know, sharing your perspective, um, because it's your world and what you value. Okay. And, uh, you're having strength that, that builds strength and character within you. Okay. So this is interesting. Okay. So how you feel about them is, there's some sort of perspective that you need to get through to this other side or this other person. I'm going to pull some tarot and see what wants to come through. Let's see what that is. What is it? Yeah, because you have it. I think that you maybe been holding it in and, and it's been causing a lot of rumination and keeping you up at night. And it's just this circle of nonstop hamster wheel of the same thought that's just going over and over in your mind. OK, so what this is saying is that putting an end to that, it's reached its fruition. Right. It's a nine card, nine of swords might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius type energy. 
uh, or you're just carrying that energy yourself. The good thing is that it's a nine, so it's coming to fruition, right? The 10 is reaching completion, um, but that's what this is talking about here. Let's clarify the nine of swords uh, on this and what wants to come out, how you feel about them. Let's see what this is. Yeah, your emotions, how you feel about this situation and how your stance and your emotions and what you value um, hold incredible uh, uh, weight with you, okay? You see this cup, it's not like the normal cups. This is very unique, okay? And she's looking at that saying, hey, my perspective is important. How I feel in this situation is important. And uh, it's, it's about getting that out. It's expressing that emotion, okay? So the Queen of Cups, wow. Um, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Simona Rising um, energy, right? And it has to do with communication. She, she's wearing a lot of the blue, which talks about a form of communication. So it's communication that needs to express on the value of what she holds inside and what she feels that is her value. Okay. So how interesting. Anything else? This is a new beginning. Okay. So maybe through this process, um, you have an opportunity for a new beginning. And this is the Page of Wands. This is about a message. It's, it's a fire energy. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius type energy. But yeah, uh, that's the way I, I feel about it. How interesting. So it's this fire type energy that is starting over with a brand new beginning. And very confident, I must say. Okay, because that yellow represents the solar plexus in that chakra system. And uh, there's already been some success. It's just about moving forward. And there's already been a feather in the cap. So it's about moving forward. So this is really great. So how you feel about them is that they're starting brand new. They're ending an old cycle. They feel that they're emotional emotions are of value and they're getting strength uh, in their in taking their own stance and their own perspective. That's how you feel about them right now. Uh, anything else that uh, might want to come through? Uh, let's see here what cards. I want to use the peace cards real quick and see what wants to come through. How you feel about them? That they are an angel of earth and they are protected. So you really feel that in some way that this person is being protected by something higher than anything else. Uh, this is a uh, really beautiful because this is about communication and of course the heart chakra and the blue is the throat chakra so this is about earth angel that they are being protected in this process of this new beginning of this perspective uh and um and it's beautiful it, and it's it, it just talks about that uh that there is some some sort of protection for this person you might be an earth angel to this person uh, you being an earth sign and being an angel to someone else and protecting them and helping them in some way so that's kind of the way I see it, but that's really beautiful. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like um, really, really beautiful. And it's also about that, that, that not, you know, don't agree to something because you're too tired of, 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 uh, you know, to deal with it. It's like, um, this wants to say is hold on out for a resolution that meets everyone else's needs. So if there is a struggle here, this is saying that uh, it, it, there is peace that is available. Peace is around the corner of this. Okay, it's it, it, it's a, it's about uh, getting rid of this conflict conflict in, in some way. Okay, uh, so um, that's what it's saying. So it's focusing on peace in this situation. How interesting! Wow, I knocked over a stick of cards, guys. Sorry. Okay. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and, feel, and and check out how they feel about you. Okay, let's how do they feel about you? Here it is. Well, let's see what this is. Here it is. Sacred Earth Mother. There's a message of love here, and you know they they really love you, and I think that. Uh, um, there's a message that's going to be coming through, or if it hasn't already come through, that they've mentioned this to you, that they really appreciate you, they love you. Uh, there is a message of love that is coming through. So this is beautiful. They've got love for you. So that's pretty blunt and, and, and coming right out. Uh, so uh, yeah, they they uh, feel that you're, uh, yeah, I, I just really feel that there is, they're going through, how they feel about you, they're going through um, uh, some sort of healing. And there's an aspect of the a situation in this life or in this, you know, something within this relationship needs some healing. Okay. And that's what's happening. Okay. There's an aspect of this uh, or an element of this relationship that needs healing. So there is spiritual healing that is taking place in this uh, really beautiful guidance. Um, so it's like the, like the angel is giving spiritual healing uh, to this person. Um, and, uh, and, and, and so they know that they're going through that, you know, themselves right now. How do they feel about you? 
They feel that uh, something keeps happening time after time again, that there is a repetition that definitely needs to stop and to break. And it has to do with a limiting belief or a long held limiting emotion of some sort that left them in anguish. This I really felt was something that had to do with childhood. Okay. It was hidden. And all of a sudden that in a situation in life or in a, a lifespan, it came up for them. And what this is talking about, that they, they are ridding of this repetition and they are healing this right now. Okay. And this is becoming their strength. Okay. Um, yeah, but there has been some sort of repetition. And it does have to do with the moon phases. I'm going to pull a moon card real quick on this. But it's that of which was been hidden. And now it's been brought to light. Okay. So let's see what else this is. Yeah, it's a time for healing is what's come out for them. So they they believe they also uh, feel that you are going through a time of healing as well. You both are in this relationship or in this dynamic. There is a it's a time for healing right now. Okay, and and the answers they feel that in this relationship how they feel about you they feel the answers are already coming in. The answers are already coming in on how they feel. Okay, so this is really, this is the answers that, that you need are coming. And so this talks about how they feel about you. So if they're getting the answers that they need in this relationship or in this dynamic, okay, it's going to help them be very successful. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at um, what you need to know most about them, what you need to know most about them. What is that? Okay, that they have, there's a gateway. And this is beautiful because there is a lot of opportunities that are coming for this person. And there is a gateway of opportunities and they are in the process of choosing which one is going to magically most definitely resonate with their soul and their calling long term. Okay. And this is out there being asked to walk through that door because there's lots of different gateways and opportunities that are being offered to this person. And, um, and, and that's what I feel that is really coming through. Uh, it's, it's a lot of communication. Um, yeah, and it's like there is a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of possibilities that are being open to them right now. Okay. And, um, yeah, and it's about, you know, stepping through one of them, having that peace, having that clarity and getting the love that they deserve. Okay. And loving what they do. Okay. Because there's a strong thing. There's a, there's a same Yana Van Sant, uh, and you might know from the Oprah Winfrey show, she did a tweet and it was really, really prominent and it stuck in my mind. And I thought it was so, it just really moved me. And, and when I see this card, it moves me into that direction. And it talks about the key to success, you know, the gateway to success is how I'm going to say it. So I'm making it a little bit different, but the, the gateway to success um, is not what you do. It's how you feel about what you do. Okay. And to this person, they're being offered lots of opportunities and how they feel about you is that, uh, you know, you maybe have helped them in that process. Uh, they feel that you, that there's opportunities available for them. So, um, how they feel about you is you, that you've helped them, um, uh, you know, uh, kind of, you know, take the time that they need and, and to know, to rid of that repetition and then move forward into their, their ultimate gateway here. But, um, yeah, there is a lot of possibilities in this relationship as well. So I think that they've overcome the repetition side of things. And now there's a gateway of opportunities that's being opened for both of you here. Um, I'm going to pull some tarot on this and how they feel about you. I'm just curious. Okay. Um, yeah, there's going to be, uh, there's a lot of fast communication that is coming through. Uh, it's the eight of wands. It's that fire sign. So maybe, uh, there's a, there's fast communication that's coming through. Yeah. And this is about them. Um, they're trying to balance their life. They're trying to balance things out. It's a two of pentacles. Okay. So this is interesting guys. Let's see what else wants to come through. Yeah. They're, they're, they want love. They want the stability and they want the happy home life. Okay. That's what they're, they're definitely looking for. So, um, yeah, I mean, Capricorn, this is, uh, just so you know, that's kind of what, what I'm seeing here. Uh, let's take a look at, um, we want to go through with how you, what you need to know most about them. What do you need to know most about them? Here it is. That they're centering themselves right now. They're finding their center, their core beliefs and uh, their values uh, and all of the things that maybe were kind of, they've outgrown. You kind of like, this is outgrown and it's about ready to be kind of pruned. And now they're finding their their center that is really blooming inside. And I'm sorry about the glare there, guys got natural sunlight coming through and it's oh it's so beautiful <laughs> but they're 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 actually blooming from inside so what you see on the outside 
is a mess to what is just really blooming inside. So they're finding their center, which is a good thing, okay? Uh, anything else which you need to know most about this person? What do you need to know most about them? They're very creative. The artist in them is just coming out, okay? They're super creative, and uh, they are, uh, the, there is a genius of, artist, the, of artistry that is in them that is about to emerge, okay? So the, it's very, very beautiful. Anything else which you need to know most about them? Is it reflecting on things or reflecting on the on, on the things and how they can move forward now? Uh, but reflecting, uh, I know I think that this is more about uh, reflecting on what once has happened, but not carrying any sort of baggage, just reflecting and being able to to uh, move on, but move on with love. You see, this is a heart on her cheek and that green is the heart chakra uh, and getting that confidence, you know. Uh, so it's really, uh, really um, going through reflection, you know, this is about communion, uh, with themselves and, uh, um, yeah, this is the thing they're going deeper, making connections. They're working through the layers of understanding, uh, and getting, you know, getting that and, and taking a reflection of that, uh, and, th and taking thoughtful approaches to move forward and trying to seek interpretation and draw, you know, uh, their own meaning from their own situation of what they've come through. Okay. So that's what this is saying. Okay. Uh, and it's also saying that, you know, all roads are going to lead back to you, that all roads can lead back to some sort of peace and that new opportunity for beginning, uh, and, uh, reflecting on this and be able to move forward. This is really beautiful. Uh, and if this see what the moon cards have to say about this, uh, what you need to know most about them, what is it? They're balancing their spirituality with practicality, okay? So applying those principles to what it is that they do and in this relationship, in this, in this dynamic. So that's what I see coming through. And they're taking time to take their, to catch their breath as they move forward. So that reflection is this taking time to not, to really deep, taking those deep breaths and also, you know, really let out those, uh, you know, uh, those, the, the breath as well. Uh, and uh, really breathe out and take the time to breathe out too, okay? That's really important for them right now, okay? Uh, and uh, what is also seen too is that confidence is key to their success. So they're taking on that kind of Leo type of courage and that energy here. So this is really beautiful. What are the blockages and difficulties that you've had with this person or in this situation? What is that? Yeah, it's, it's thought patterns. It's thought patterns that needed to be revised, quite frankly. It's just a rewiring, okay? Rewiring of the thought process, right? Because what we think, we feel. And what we feel, you know, uh, you know it, 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 it kind of affects our actions, right? And, and that leads to whatever manifestation that's happening. So if your thoughts and your feelings are, I'm fearful, or, you know, or, or I can't do it, you know, and why can't you do it? Because my, my, my feeling from that is I'm afraid to do it. And if you're afraid to do it, the inspired action is not going to come and your manifestations aren't going to come. So this is saying is revising that. Yes. Uh, you know, this is about, you know, confidence is being key to your success. Uh, and, and this is about the blockages for both of you. This is not just the other person or, or you, this is both. It's like there needed to be some sort of revision in this, you know, dynamic here. Okay. And to know that it is possible and to think it is possible and I can step through my fear. I can take inspired action one baby step at a time. And that's going to lead to my positive affirmation and my, my positive, um, uh, 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 manifestation. Okay. So it's just a revision of things, a revision. If you need help within this, go to Beyond the Re because it's all about uprooting whatever's holding you back, feeling lighter, being able to breathe out, just like this card talked about, okay? And able to move on and, and, um, and, and, and to not have that hindrance and feel like you're carrying, you know, 50 pounds on your back, okay? So that's what this is talking about. So that's one of the blockages, okay? Uh, let's uh, pull some tarot on this and see what are some of the blockages in this or difficulties. What is it? Yeah, there was heartbreak. There was heartbreak and maybe it had to do with three people in a situation uh, for some of you, but I really feel that this was heartbreak, that there was some sort of heartbreak here. Okay. Uh, and, um, and, uh, yeah, a lot of heartbreak. 
And it could have to do with the Gemini as well, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and bring that up there too. Uh, you know, maybe they had heartbreak with a Gemini or someone who had Gemini in their chart. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart. Uh, I don't know, but uh, note your comments below. But but they're heartbreak. But they're, they're they're but it's it's like the blockages is about you know it's just re revision of communication, revision of how you really see things, you know. And and when you revise that, it doesn't have to lead to heartbreak anymore. It can lead to the resourcefulness that can move this mountains, you know, move mountains with. With the you know this action so take action it's a major kind of card so you know the blockages can be removed by being very resourceful because you've got all the tools that you need uh you know in this okay so anything else that wants to come through yeah you got the clarity so this is success guys this is success so I really love seeing this because the blockages can be pushed through and the clarity can arrive and uh, success is guaranteed here. It's what's coming through. There's a wreath of success, a crown of success. So um, and stability too. So I really think this is beautiful. This can be, there's a breakthrough. Um, so anything else in terms of the best way to move forward in this relationship or situation? What is that? Best way to move forward? Yeah, this is about, this might have to do with family, guys. This might have to do a lot with family, but this is about some sort of journey, okay? This is called, called the sacred journey. There is a journey that one of you in these dynamics is going through and had to complete, and it's a sacred journey, one within. And uh, this is about, uh, you know, the life cycles, but it is also about transforming this situation, okay? as this sacred journey. So this is really beautiful. Anything else best way to move forward? Wow, this is about finding harmony, finding harmony in this situation and knowing that uh, you are protected uh, in this process of moving forward. There's love here, okay? Uh, this is about having fulfillment and harmony in this relationship or situation too, okay? Uh, it's protected by the divine, okay? Uh, it, it, it's being protected by the divine. Uh, anything else in the best way to move forward? Yeah, it's a lot of healing, guys. Okay, so it's kind of turning that sadness. It's like the angels have, have really felt the sadness that you were feeling and have come down to really focus on the healing. So that protection that we just talked about, this is helping the angel. It's kind of like your spirit guys are kind of helping you with your protect, And you're being protected in this process. And um, there are, they're kind of sending healing vibes, okay? So I'm sending healing vibes too. That's what's coming through. Um, they felt your sadness. They felt your grief was deep uh, in this relationship or situation and sending you a lot of healing in this process. Uh, anything else that wants to come through? What do the moon cards have to say? Yeah, it's like surrender it to the divine. When you've done everything you can, you put your hands up in the air and surrender to the divine in the process, okay? And it's going to really, really help you um, actually move forward. And it's going to bring you judgment. It's going to bring you resurrection to your life and to this relationship. So this is really key, guys. Uh, this is a major iconic card. So it's resurrection, hands up in the air, right? That's what they're doing there. Uh, you see it right there? And it's, it's going to source hands up in the air. I could just feel it. Um, so that's what's coming through guys. I think this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know what I'm going to do is I want to pull, um, I'm going to back this chair up and I'm going to pull, um, just real quick on what, uh, the, uh, soul tree cards have to say to you. What do the soul tree cards have to say, uh, in this, anything else? What is this? Oh my gosh. This is dream. This is, oh, this is beautiful, guys. So it was so, it was so embedded into, and I couldn't even see, you see the dream that's down there? You couldn't even see what the card is. This is the cover of the card, and this was the card. It was like they were both identical. So it's hidden in a dream. How to move forward might be hidden in a dream, okay, for you. So this is saying is that uh, definitely, uh, you know, there is some sort of dream. This is like, follow your heart, move forward to the vision. Remember we talked about that manifestation, how it was big, but move forward in your vision. Okay. And allow yourself to dream and allow yourself to believe. Okay. I believe 
right? I mean, I think that's really whatever it is that you want to come through. It's like surrendering to the divine and saying, I believe, write that in the comments below. And so it is, right? Put it out to your vibration and, and put it out there. So you're actually acting on it, right? I believe. And that has to be in context of what it is that you are focusing on. And so it is, it just is. Okay. So that's what this is talking about. All right. So, all right, guys, lots of love. I look forward to seeing you in March. And until then, namaste.